Take a little motion. One, two, three. Take a little motion. Four, five, six. And the kids will finish it up. How are you, little angels? It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. You remember the patterns? We said patterns can be formed using shapes, using numbers, using lines, using letters. So many things can form patterns. Do you know that we can form patterns using the colors, can form pattern, patterns using the shapes, the lines, the numbers, and the, even the dots can form patterns. Now we are here with our numbers. We want to form patterns. And we said patterns can be counted in one. You can count in ones. You can count in twos, in fours, in fives, in tens. It depends with what exactly do you want. So for look at our board today. We want to form patterns, but now using a number line. And when you look at zero like that, our patterns means we are counting forward. So what happens? We, do you remember the, the game you were playing in the field where you are skipping depending on the pattern you are learned? If I'm, I'm talking about one, two, three, four, I'll just skip one, two, three, four, and continue. If I'm supposed to skip a number we used to skip, then you say that number silently, the one you're skipping, then you say the other number loudly. That was counting in twos, where we just say zero, two, Four, five, six, as you scream out the number that is supposed to be in that one. So look at on our board today. The first question is we want to count in ones and we're starting from zero. So we sing our song, the song we used to sing. One, again we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are counting numbers all. Are we together? So we have already filled in by just singing the numbers. You can also sing. Take a little motion. One, two, three. Take a little motion. Four, five, six. Take a little motion. Seven, eight, nine. And the ten will follow them. Follow, follow, follow them. Then here, do you remember the song we were singing? Public man, public man, number 28, I went for a walk, but now I stop and I break. Then you break. Then you say, blue band, bye bye zero. Zero is a zero is a round, round and round. I am a girl and this is what I love doing. So we count, so 10, 20. Which number comes after 20? You find out it is 30. Then 40. 50, 60. After 60, which number comes after 60? It is a 70. And we'll have already filled in your numbers nicely. Then the next one says we count in twos. Who can remind us the song we sang when we were counting in twos? Uh, Johnny, Johnny, can you remind us please? Teacher, it seems I forgot. Very good. Okay. Janet, please try. We are counting 1 to 20. We are counting 1 to 20. We are counting 1 to 20. And this is how we count them. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it 9? No. 9 is the silent letter. So here the missing number is 10. So we say 10, 11, 10. 12, 13, 14, 15. And the next number here will be 16. So when you're told to fill in the missing numbers, you're able to look at the number and find out. Are we counting in ones? Are we counting in tens? Are we counting in twos? Or which number are we counting in? So I want people to try doing the last number. I'm not going to do it for you. I've shown you the example for number one. For number two, number three. Now, I want people to try and do this so that in the next five minutes, I'm able to see all the books with the correct answers. First of all, what are you supposed to identify? You identify the number in which they're counting in. 
For example, here it is counting in ones, here it is in tens, here it is in twos, and what about this one? Teacher, because it has a zero and a five, a zero and a five, you say it is being counted in fives. So, can you be able to fill in here? Yes, teacher, very good. So, I want the books in the next five minutes so that I can mark. I'm waiting for the books. Anybody who has finished? Very good. So, who can tell us what is the missing number here? Teacher, teacher, the missing number here is five. What about here? We have zero, five, ten, fifteen. What about here? The missing number? The missing number teacher must have a zero at the end and it must be bigger than fifteen. And which is the next number after fifteen that has a zero is twenty. Any question up to there? Any problem? Wow. I hope to see you in the next lesson as we continue exploring number patterns. Thank you very much.